today I would like to introduce you to a new concept uh, that came out with uh, 0.3 of Automatica and that is version variables, uh, version data objects uh, so uh, I have a, a sample process prepared just to showcase and uh, save a little bit of time of um, yeah, drawing everything uh, uh, while speaking so the idea is that we have a single person object uh, of a type person so this is like a simple person with name audit, uh, adult and, and uh, age this is defined here and when we look at the definition of our data object the most important part is here that we have the custom object the uh, custom attributes uh, with tags that are setting this uh, data object to be versioned version means that every single change to the uh, data object will be recorded automatically by the workflow engine and made available uh, for uh, yeah, further evaluation so for instance we can take a look at the script task itself uh, we have the options to reference particular things so we have the person that is the latest version we can uh, by using the uh, dollar sign at the end of the variable we can reference the entire uh, list of variables uh, versions we have recorded we can use the function of previous version to get the uh, yeah the last uh, recorded uh, version or we can simply use the version uh, variable version function to get hold of a particular version at the index so, so this is safe operations well if you reference an index of the version that does not exist it will simply return a null option but uh, referencing the version numbers are usually more important when you want to make uh, decisions so for instance you can simply say if the option that we are going to uh, yeah, we just received or data that we just received and, and saved as the latest version is uh, equal to the previous version and again you can see here that we used uh, uh, function references uh, those are built-in functions so you don't have to implement anything you simply get hold of the is equal that is a function and then previous version so we can easily compare those uh, operations or uh, those uh, versions via the, the functions all right so we have that covered so let's see this in action so let's run the application in left mode uh, so we just get the service up and running all right and we have it up so we can just simply go to else so we can take a look first at the dev ui here and the swagger uh, so swagger gives us our uh, fully featured api for all the information in the dev ui we have uh, automatic service there as well so we have the one workflow and we have the uh, workflow console as well so we can take a look at that this will indicate uh, yeah, or, yeah show a simple view of uh, management uh, of our process instances or workflow instances all right so let's give it a go we create a new instance of a person so let's give it a test so we can easily reference that let's say it's 20 and we say it's John so if you run this one we got ID assigned so if we refresh this view yes we have one instance we can take a look here and we can take a look details so we have the active user task versions we don't have any versions right now we don't have any set processes no errors all right so let's take a look here and if we go to find our signal so we try to send to our test and we send that adult is let's say it's 25 instead and we still have john let's see what happens here so we see that the current date is 25 if we look at the details it says that this one already was executed yes because uh, we've uh, run this and, and all right so we have a version one that was the age 20 you can take a look at the, you can see that it was fetching and showing that it's a different uh, so it found the difference it compared the operations 
where the events are processed triggered with person data. This is the current data we sent. This is what we have in our version list. Uh, this is the previous version. And there's not existing because we reference uh, an index of the version that is 100 and we certainly don't have it because we have only one version. So you can see there is a little button here that uh, allows us to actually set the given version as the current value. So it allows us to sort of travel in time and get the current, uh, uh, revert to a particular version number to get it as the current one. So we can do yet another update. Let's say we do exactly the same. So we don't do anything here. We should see, see and we have that it's the same. So it simply compare the previous version with the current version and saying that yes, this is exactly the same value. So it's not going to perform particular operations. So if we look here, look at the versions again, and we have two versions. So we can simply uh, reference those. So, and let's give it one more go. And we just change it to Mary and it's, 22. Let me just give it a go again. Let's close this one and open again. And we have the versions. And we have three versions now. You can see that those two are still there because it does not uh, check if the version of the variable is different than one already stored. So it gives you a complete history. At the same time, it allows you to control how many uh, versions we uh, collect. And that is to make sure that uh, we don't uh, have too much data in our version list. So we can specify by default it's 10. Uh, you can definitely uh, change that uh, to, to whatever value you uh, wanted to have. And that gives us the opportunity to control the versions easily of a particular variable. So you can set different variables with different uh, information uh, sorry the different uh, versions so that all uh, variables needs to be version so you can have full control over what data you wanted to have so let's go back here and we set this one as you can see the version 4 was already set that was the previous one and if we just we open it again and here is the our current version is shown again so this is the, our initial start uh, of the data we have. So with that you can easily keep track of all the versions and um, easily go back to the version that is the one that you wanted to have the version to be at. All right, that was a very quick interaction to the version data objects. I hope you enjoy it and stay tuned for more updates around the automatic project. Thank you very much.